The drone story of Iran, its neighbors and allies seems to be going on for quite a while as they are trying to show Western countries how effective they could be. Based on latest reports, a military drone tournament has been launched in central Iran with Russia, Belarus and Armenia in attendance. Hello everyone, I'm Shafi and welcome to the new episode of Polite Affairs. This time our focus is why Iran has been holding these kind of competitions with Russia and newly Armenia inside this country. Iranian state television showed footage from a ceremony in the city of Kashan where dozens of representatives from four countries gathered to start the tournament that is judged by members from all delegations. The 2022 Falcon Hunting Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Competition, part of the seventh iteration of wider annual military games launched by Russia in 2015, was hosted by the Aerospace Division of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps in a city where many of the elite forces drone tests are conducted. Though this drone part is totally new, first of all the fact that there is a drone part for this competition and it's held in Iran, especially in the city of Kashan, speaks for itself. Recently, American CNN reported that Russian delegations have attended a drone manufacturing company in Kashan, which produces Iranian Shahed-129 and Shahed-191 UAVs. Russia is especially interested in these two Iranian combat drones. As you know, the drone shows comes after months of claims by United States that Russia is planning to purchase hundreds of drones from Iran to be used in the war in Ukraine, something Tehran has denied, but even Ukraine has approved it though without any evidence yet, as no Iranian drone has not been shot down in Ukraine so far. So this is a sign. Also Belarus, which is the closest ally for Russia, is present. But why Armenia? This one could also have its reasons. Armenia has faced Turkish Bayraktar TB2 drones in 2020 Karabakh conflict. Russia and Iran were somehow worried about the fact that Baku won that war, especially because Turkey's influence was raised dramatically as a result of this war in South Caucasus. Now signs show that Azerbaijan with help of Turkey and Israel plans to get control over Armenian province of Siunik, which is on border of Iran. This move is a red line for Tehran and to some extent for Russia. So Armenia is also present in this so-called drone game as a gesture. Who knows, maybe Armenia will also be equipped with Iranian drones if needed. Iran is also reportedly hosting two other categories this year, namely a diving competition in southern Iran by country's army and a sniping competition in central Yaz by IRGC ground forces. On Monday, Iran's defense minister Amir Ashtiani announced a military exhibition will commence on August 22nd during the opening of which President Ebrahim Raisi and other top officials will be treated to the country's latest achievements. It is also expected that Iran will also showcase some new drones in this exhibition. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also to share your opinion with me in the comments. There are also dozens of other videos on similar issues on my channel. So don't forget to check them out.